Welcome to the house of a mountain humper. Yes, Mr. Holzoff, the mountain humper himself. He loves this mountain more than his wife, clearly, as he left her 20 years ago. Anyways, <laughs> last time, we passed out in the Great Glacier, and Mr. Holzoff here saved our lives and took us to his cabin here, and he told us about the Gaia Cliffs that we're going to be climbing next, and we're at the base of those mountains now, and... Mr. Holzoff, as a reminder to everyone, we're going to go talk to him again because he has a few tips on how to climb this mountain properly. This is a mountain he still hasn't climbed after all these years. He gave up on his wife to try and climb this mountain. <laughs> and he still hasn't done it. Let's show him how it's done, right? So, we have to click, we have to um, confirm our route. So, you just pick a route and then you climb up like any other object that you climb in this game. But at each cliff, we're going to be raising and keeping our body temperature up. And... Basically, you want to keep your temperature around 37 because if you get below 26 degrees, uh, you're going to pass out and come back to the mountain humper's home. And you have to start over the entire climb. And it's not just climbing the mountain, it's also a dungeon we're going to be going through. So you definitely don't want to pass out. Uh, it's not too tough though, but in these mountains lives my nightmare. Alright, or my biggest nightmares live in this mountain. Two of them, actually. Two of them. So this will be a thing, but once we go out here... <laughs> you saw Tifa. Tifa's trying to do some exercises. <laughs> you be speaking out. Vincent's chilling. The Naki's warm. Kate said doesn't feel and Barrett was cold too. You know, I've been thinking. What is it? What is it? Seeing a place like this makes you realize how awesome nature is. But if anyone told me to live here, I'd tell them to, you know, go to hell. <laughs> I, I'd tell you one thing, though. If I did have to live here, I'd change things around and make it better. I guess the total opposite of this would be Midgar. When you think of it that way, Shimmer don't seem so bad. Ah! What the hell am I saying? This shit is not bad! I'm, I'm not sure what he was saying either. I didn't really understand that. We'll secure the route. You came up. You come up later. Alright, so we... I believe this is the... I can't remember if after this moment, you get to switch your party members again. So I'm going to switch my party members to who I want in the big part that is after this episode. Just in case. So, uh, but we can... I'm going to see what everyone says, especially Yuffie and Tifa. You know, staying here like this. Kind of makes you feel like the plan's not on our side, don't it? <laughs> of course, we can't comp even compete. I mean, the plan don't even notice us humans. <laughs> That's a good way to think about it. All right, let's take out these party members and, uh... Well, let's talk to one more party member and then switch them out. What's the guy say? Damn! If I could just get back in the air, this cliff would be nothing. That's true. He could just fly over it. Oh, man. <laughs> that must suck. All right, so let's get Sid in there. And Tifa. And... I of course, that the excuse is like, oh, we're going to go confirm the round and they come up later. But in reality, I like to imagine that each of all of our party members are trekking up this mountain hand in hand so that they don't get blown off by the wind. Like, it's... I like to think of it like that. All right, what's up, Yuffie? Brr, I can't take this code! I can't take it. This blizzard is nothing. I, I gotta say that or... Oh, God. <laughs> I gotta say it or I'm just going to freeze to death. I wonder what's on the other side of the cliff. And Vincent, he's just the undead, so he doesn't even feel it. His his own body is, is just cold. Nanaki, how's your flaming tail? I wonder what's at the top of the cliff. Well, we shall see. We shall see. This is secret, this is secret info, but Rufus is going to arrive here too. <laughs> Thanks, traitor! <laughs> You're a traitor to your own people. Like, Jesus. He's he's like Ocelot from Metal Gear. This freaking triple, quadruple crosser. God dang. Alright, so who, we're taking Tifa and Red 13. Tifa, I, of course, I need to show off Dolphin Blow. I promised you I'd show you Dolphin Blow. And Red 13, I just want him. Oh, I need to take off Yuffie's stuff. So actually, I'm going to be right back. Set up everyone, and I'll see you here again. Alrighty, welcome back. Everyone went back inside because... Oh, wait, that's true. I went back inside to just heal up after giving people materia and um, change my party members, and now they're no longer here. So, interesting. I even saved the game, so... Anyways, <laughs> that's a little weird. You can't change your party members if you save again or probably go back inside. That's 
a good thing to note. So make sure you do it first. Alrighty. So anyways, our equipment, pretty much they're the same. They're exactly the same. But now we have Red 13, and you do want somebody with Ribbon, alright? The One of the nightmares on this mountain can cause multiple negative status effects, and it will ruin your day. Um, so you at least want one person who just kind of negates that, because otherwise it's going to be rough. And uh, he got that. We still have him with the memento of his father, because it's just so powerful compared to every other weapon he has. Material-wise, though, we... Uh, I gave him Earth because it's just about to level up. Literally, like, one more fight, it's going to get Quake 2, finally. Uh, we still don't have regen. It's taking forever to get regen. Uh, of course, he has Fire 2. We have him with Magic Plus, so his fire attacks do, do more damage because this is a freaking mountain full of snow creatures, so we want him with that. We have him with Ifrit as well and Sense, so he's kind of pretty simple. And I got rid of Ifrit and gave her Odin again, mainly because the boss fight. The boss fight is very interesting, but we'll talk about that later. But hopefully she can get some sudden or um, insta-death kills on some of these nightmares by just attacking them. And otherwise she is the exact same. Oh, I forgot to put something here for Headass McGee. <laughs> it is McGee. I don't even know what to put on you. Wait, what summon do you have? You have Alexander. Oh, we need to show off Alexander. All right, I just swapped some things around there. So anyways, let's go. Let's go. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. That flag makes me laugh. I, I remember this flag. Even as a child, that flag, just the visual effects are so bad. I love it. It's so bad. It is so bad. It's literally two frames of animation. It's so funny. Alrighty. So we're at 36 degrees. We need to start climbing right now. Um, never stop climbing. Never stop moving. We took Tifa because... Otherwise, she's just going to freeze to death. She needs to be moving, and we need to keep her warm like this. All right? 38 degrees. All right, let's go. Let's go. Keep climbing. That's all you have to do. Right here, you can't warm yourself while you're climbing. You can only warm yourself at these little check marks. Uh, the first one is not too bad. So we just get ourselves warm. All right, let's go. Let's freaking go. Keep climbing. Just keep climbing. We're mountain climbers. But yeah, I like to imagine we're all just hand in hand, just climbing up this mountain. And I, of course, we're wearing jackets. But they can't change the design. That's too much work. Especially back in 1997. Can you imagine? All that detail you had to put in these pixels. Mm, I love his little shimmy. Look at my shimmy. He does the running man. <laughs> While he's getting warm. Alrighty. And we have made it through the, past, the first set of mountains. There are two sets, I believe. But in here, you don't have to worry about warming yourself up. Which I'm kind of surprised about. I'm surprised they didn't just keep making you have to do that mechanic. Here we go. Who are we fighting? <laughs> Who are we fighting? Okay. Oh my. Okay, not, not the bad ones. Not the bad ones yet. Oh, baby boy. Okay, we got them all. Don't kill them. I swear to God. All right, here we go. Dolphin Blow's coming up. Oh, that does so much damage even with just hit. I just went for all the hits. So that's Dolphin Blow. I absolutely love Dolphin Blow. There's Earth Love Vault, which is good. Oh, I love Dolphin Blow. And you see how, remember I said like how this combo is literally a combo. After the Meteo Drive, she uppercuts them back off the ground with the Dolphin Blow. And my theory around Dolphin Blow, that is Mr. D in the sea. That's Mr. Dolphin from Junon. If you remember the Dolphin that we saved, um, back in Junon area, where we had to use the dolphin whistle to get up into the Junon area where the Shinra parade was happening. I, my theory is that Cloud, he still has Mr. Dolphin's whistle, and he gave it to Tifa, and Tifa is able to call Mr. Dolphin with an assist. Isn't that amazing? She calls him with an assist, and, uh, he comes and supports her with an uppercut. So it's not, it's her uppercut plus Mr. Dolphin coming out of nowhere. I love it. I freaking love it. There is one of the nightmares. Not the penguins. It's the freaking ass eaters. Their names are actually called Zulk Alter, which in our language means ass eater. How? They might be ass lickers, butt munchers, just munching ass. You never know. And guess what? At the age of nine, young little Danny lost his ass to a Zulk Alter. You should be thankful because my ass, my childhood was never the same. 
Extreme Bomber. Boom. Holy God. Die. You, Red 13 still needs to get his freaking um other limit break. So thankfully he got the kill with the limit break. Oh my goodness. Extreme Bomber is very extreme. These enemies are no joke. I may say they're ass eaters because they are. They will tear a new one. All right, they'll eat the first one and give you a new one. You like that? No, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, we don't like that. All right, let's go. So we're in these ice caverns, which look exactly like Donkey Kong Country 1. We have these ice spikes in the way. We need to figure out how to get rid of them. I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. Oh, we got this theme. The, like, the freaking sneaky James Bond Pink Panther theme. How the freak do we get up there? I thought there was a path that led me up there. I could have sworn. There it is. I, wait, what the freaking. Okay. Okay. I went the wrong way. Do we got more ass eaters? No. We have. Oh my god! That's a boss! This is one of the. We had. We fought this guy. This was the Materia Keeper boss. But he's now just a normal enemy, of course, because that's what these games do. Beta. Level 40? You're crazy. You're crazy, dude. Level 40? I don't think you- I don't know if you're weak to fire, you're kind of red. Kind of cool looking, but uh, we're gonna try it. Beta's just strong as heck. Magic Breath! Magic Breath. I, uh... That's an enemy skill. I was- Wow, okay. I wasn't sure. I was like, I think that's an enemy skill, and it was. Cool! Awesome, we got freaking Magic Breath. I need to re remember what that does, because someone didn't get hurt or absorbed it. It was a little weird. Let's see what Magic Breath is. Totally forgot that that was an enemy skill in this area. Uh, Magic, Tifa... God, these enemies are kicking my butt. They are kicking my booty. Magic Breath. Fire, Ice, Lightning Damage! Okay! It's just the triple attack on all opponents, so that's why Red 13 absorbed it. Interesting. That attack's actually amazing. <laughs> that's actually... Okay, that's a really good attack. That's good to know. Alright, let's get a heal on. Hey, how are you? <laughs> You're cute. Where is this freaking path I'm looking for, dude? Where is this path? I'm so confused right now. Wait, okay. We go in here. Okay, there it is. God, it's hidden. Uh, that's what I was looking for. Okay, so now we go up here. Mm, nope. <laughs> we go around here. I don't remember this part. I, I have a lot of trouble remembering this part. Uh, let's get this treasure. We get a javelin. That's for Sid. A character I was thinking of changing, but I didn't want to risk having Sid in the part that I want Red 13 in. So we're just having Red 13. We haven't had Red 13 in a while. We got the easy uh, enemies, thankfully. Ooh, ooh, they don't do much damage. Let's just get this freaking experience. Get that going. 1,000 damage to the Organics Blade. Kills him in one hit. Red 13 with all that power still can't do it. Mm -hmm. He's kind of lower level, isn't he? Yeah. Got level. Cloud is now level 40. Vampire Fang. That just drains HP just like those vampire beds do. Alright, get the heal. We just want to keep healthy. We want to keep healthy. We want to keep warm and healthy in these parts. And... Do we keep left here? Uh... I think so. Yeah, this is how we break the ice. Yeah, so... Where the freak are we? There we are. So we go here, and we push this rock. Oh, we kick it, actually. We don't even push it. We kick it. And it should break those spikes for us, so now we can go that direction. I like you. Oh, I do. I do. All right, there it goes. Goodbye, Sir Rock. Thanks for the assist. You're the true hero of this game. The true hero. Where am I? Cloud. Cloud. How did you pause? Cloud got lost in there. That wasn't me. Uh, no, 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 no. You can't blame that on me. Cloud got lost. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's a back attack. That's a back attack. Don't you dare hurt Red 13. Oh! Alright, they got away. They got away. Red 13 was like, Saina, I'm the Naki. Alright, let's go. Where's this path? There it is. So usually on those paths, they kind of in this game they usually, um, they're auto and they do it for you. Not this time, apparently. No, no, no. Not when Danny's playing. All right, 
The other nightmare, besides the ass eaters, is on the outside of the mountains. So we won't run into it here. Here they are. It's the whole freaking family. Jimmy, Jim, Joe, and Mo. Mo ass. Mo problems. Living on Mount Ass. The cousin to Mount Cock. Remember that episode? Where there was a mount of cock? Now we're on a mountain of ass. Guy Cliffs? No, 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 no. Just barfing an ass. Barfing and ass. That's all it is here, man. They lick it, they munch it, they dump it. I don't know what to do. I don't know who they're eating, but they're not, it's not gonna be me. Tifa! Tifa, get off the beta, please. There's a counterattack. That might have been an instant kill. Not sure. Tifa's just super strong. Get the 55, 55. And they also cast slow because Red 13 is slow right now. That's insane. Oh, the Toxic Barf does it because he has a uh, ribbon on. My goodness. These enemies are nightmares. Get out of here. Get out of here. Beta going to be super helpful throughout this area because of that. They can slow you down and poison you. Give me that level up. Give me that level up. Red 13's about to level up too. We're looking good. As always. Oh, also on those enemies, the uh, ass eaters. You can use the morph ability on them and turn them into antidotes. I'm going to try that now, now that I remembered that. Uh, so hopefully we can run into them. We will. They're everywhere. They live in these mountains. In Mount Everest, they are thriving there. I don't know who's ass they're eating. It's not mine. <laughs> it's, uh, they're eating the other climber's ass. Why do you think Yamsky, Mr. Holzoff's friend, killed himself? He had his ass eaten. They just like it. You think we can stop them? It's their favorite hobby. It's 2019. We can't do a damn thing about it. Oh my gosh, Tifa. Oh. Talks of barf. I'm gonna barf all over your face. There's no one who's into barf, right? Like, it, it, that's not like their thing. You know what I mean? Like, you're not into barf. You know how people are into poop? Nah, nah, we're not talking about it. Oh! Wait, Morph does that? It didn't work. It only has a chance to do it, but, um, that's interesting. I didn't know Morph was a physical attack. You run up and touch him, you do some ninjutsu on him. Mmm! <clears throat> Oh, and uh, Red 13 has added cut with his fire, which is why he attacked along with his fire to spell. I'm going to try morph again. I'm going to try morph again. <clears throat> there it is. It worked. Changed into antidote. It has a little animation too when it does the little side thing. That's cool. Morph is interesting. I've never used morph in my life. I never knew it was like a physical thing. They run up and like put a, a little tag on you. A little ninja scroll. God, did they use extreme bomber on me? They are suicide bomber penguins. All right. Where are we? All right, let's go. Oh, oh baby. That magic breath was super powerful on that bat. My goodness. My goodness. All right, so now this was the first little dungeon. Now we're going to be back outside, which we want to be healthy for because we might run into my nightmares. My nightmares. Do you remember what my biggest fear is? Things with giant mouths. A megalophobia of mouths. That is what Danny has. So think about it. There's a very iconic... Final Fantasy enemy that's probably been in ever since the first Final Fantasy. We get to choose where we want to go. Doesn't really matter. We're going up. Doesn't really matter. It leads to the same exact area. There's no secrets. Here it goes. Here it is. Here it comes. I'm finna scream. I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna... Okay. It's these guys again. That's, um... That's weird. That's weird. Why are you guys outside? You, you're not allowed outside. You've literally been banned. For public indecency. Indecency. Let's try that again. I got it that time. Get out of here. I was hoping it'd be the nightmares. So I can scream. I want to scream. I love screaming. Ooh, Ifrit level up. That's amazing. That's amazing. Get more fire damage out of Ifrit. All right, warm up, warm up, warm up. Do the shimmy. All right, cool. We're moving. We're moving. I'm moving. We got a double flag check mark over there. We want to go right. Why would I go back down, game? Why would I go back down? But you, as you see, it's not that hard to keep your temperature up. You just got to figure out which way you're going. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. <laughs> just keep it going, though. Got to stay warm. Got to stay warm. All right. <laughs> All right, 38 degrees. That's amazing. 
That's amazing. We're going left. Left for Lucy. It actually fails us every single time we do this. <laughs> it fails us every single time. <laughs> Alright, cool. We're going. That's the exact same noise the ass eaters make. Not when they're eating ass. Just that's what they make. When they barf, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> We're in there. <laughs> We're in there. Alright, so this second part of the dungeon is kind of, it's a little tricky if I remember correctly. So there's like two chests, we got a save point even. That's how tricky it is. That's how tricky it be. So that treasure chest up there, and that path straight, I had a burp, and that path straight ahead, we can't make it to yet. We need to go to the right and create ourselves a bridge out of nature. Out of nature. I'm going to try and find the nightmares, just so you know. Oh boy. We're just gonna save over it. That, yeah, we're just gonna save over it. That's fine. That's fine. I like you. All right, moving over here. So we go to the right. We can't go left or straight yet. All right, back outside. They will show up here. All right, a hundred, hundred percent guaranteed. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you actually kidding me right now? Don't spank Tifa. Okay. <laughs> All right. No. Uh, no. Um, the, no. We got some pervert penguins. All right, the PPs. Um, God damn it. They started spanking Tifa. Cloud didn't like it at all. Cloud wanted to kill them, but Tifa actually likes penguins. Not like, you know, she, they th she thinks they're cute. All right, and they are. Penguins are pretty cute. They kind of wobble around. You know, they're all fat and stuff like Rolando. I like it. Here we go. We got the fire armlet, which hmm, I might put on Red 13 because it's this is helpful for the oh, Jesus. This is helpful for the boss fight. Um, so I I need to remember to put some certain things on before the boss fight. Wait, I'm trying to remember where the freak at. Can I even do anything here? Oh wait, yeah, this is it. Okay, so these icicles. This is very interesting. So we're going to pretty much use beta. <laughs> we're going to just use beta. Because beta's amazing in this part. They just silenced me. Don't suck me. Thank you. Stop it. Would you just stop? Would you just stop? Can we not do the suck? Alright, so beta. So there's those icicles in the background, right? We need to destroy the icicles and they're going to fall and create a path so we can get to the other things below us. So now the icicles like, did you really just do that to me? Are you serious right now? I'm shaking. I'm jiggling. You like that? You like this? You like it? I'm jigging. You like the jiggy? I did enough damage that it's kind of just like, yo, I'm stun locked. I stun locked the icicle. <laughs> I stun locked it. Oh my goodness! That was a bunch of experience. And moolah. So that's gonna fall down. Woo! See ya, icicle. Jump down? No! We wanna do every single one of these. We're gonna get a heal on during this fight. We're gonna get a heal on during the fight. I can't believe my nightmares haven't shown. Is it always the bats? This is easy then. This is just easy. Oh, they just silenced Tifa. What have I done to myself? I said this was easy, and this just became the hardest fight in the game. This just became the hardest fight. Oh, this just became the hardest fight in the game. Is he silenced? I'm gonna... Would you... No, he has ribbon. He can't be silenced. Thank God. Because we need a heal. <laughs> we need a heal on. Why? I freaking jinxed myself. Alright, get the heal on. My goodness gracious. Just get out of my way. Get out of my way. You asshole. <laughs> oh, oh, I think we have, we have low accuracy too. Are you, are you joking? Where's, where's, where's the thing? What is it? Echo screen? Echo screen? Is that? It's echo screen. It's echo screen, right? It better be echo screen. I'm screaming. Okay, it is. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you. Beta. <laughs> Beta just kills it in one hit. It has a lot of health. It's got a lot of health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, and then we have to sit here for two hours. How's your, how's your guys' days going, by the way? Actually, when I'm recording this, it is snowing outside here in the 301 in Maryland of the United States. Um, it, we actually just got like around six inches of snow, which in some areas, of course, that's not a lot to you. You're like, six inches? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Six inches? 
And uh, but yeah, we got six inches. It's snowing right now. So after this, I'm probably going to go shovel some snow off my car, off the walk path. You know, what I mean, you know the struggle. You know the struggle. You know it. Oh yeah. You do. Ooh, something I forgot to mention that is actually pretty interesting. So. People have dived into, like, the data of this game, uh, of course, after all these years, you know. They just, like, read every single piece of code that's inside it. And they found coding for Eris having dialogue lines during the Great Glacier, during the uh, part that we did last episode. Which is super interesting because it shows that they planned on not killing her in the early concepts of the game. Like, that's very early data so i thought that was pretty interesting but we don't want to live in that world it's better the way it is all right get out of the way thank you stop blocking t thanks thank you for the clip we got level up for ed 13 he is catching up he is catching up ever so slowly which is good he needs to he needs to he needs his lemon break for crying out loud Ooh, we got one more icicle to do no we're doing every single icicle every single one Alrighty, and with that, that is all the icicles. Tifa's running low on magic, but we're not- I'm not too worried about that right now. Uh, we want this chest. We got a last elixir, which I believe is just a mega elixir? <laughs> oh, I should have checked the number. I believe, literally, that is just a mega elixir. <laughs> and for some reason, it's just a typo? I am- Pretty sure it does if not it does the same exact thing though like it's literally just Let's use these power sources Boom guard source versus vitality I'm putting everything on Tifa. I don't even care. All right. I don't even care um, Yeah, my Tifa is going to be the best Tifa you've ever seen in any playthrough <laughs> Yeah, I believe that's just a Mega Elixir. For some reason, it just has a typo. Yep, we just made it to the bottom of the list there. It just has a typo. For some re odd reason. But we're not too worried about Tifa's magic. We will actually get a free full heal. Uh, in a certain area. Oh! Actually. Yes. <laughs> yes? Yes. Yes. Let's jump down. We, 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 we're going to be going outside one more time, I believe, so we, and I'm going to try and find my nightmare, because I believe they're only in this area. So we want to go left here. Boom. And we get a speed source. So speed source, that. And the next item should be the last item. Um, what did I get? A speed source? Okay. Right out of the menu. Got lightning level what lightning leveled up wait what we also have cloud with his limit break which is amazing we have bought three wow and then when it reaches the max one yeah it just becomes the ultimate life form that means ice is almost leveled up how do we not have cure i had this on like double experience or double uh, ap though a lot awesome that's really good though that's awesome to have freaking Bolt 3 and Ice 3. Alright, so let's do a save right here. Oh yeah, how are you? Looking cool, looking cool. Yeah, you're so cold. Ooh, I'm cold. Ooh, I'm cold. Ooh, and you're cold. You're super cold, oh baby. Alright, so now that we did that, the one icicle on the far left created that path so we could go up there. And now we can path our way through all these icicles we made. Jumping up and down across the icicles, yeah, girl. And out here should be an outside area that has an item for Cloud. A weapon for Cloud, actually. Right here. An enhanced sword. Now, I believe this is like a special property sword. Yeah, it has... Holy crap, oh holy. It's called an enhanced sword mainly for all those freaking slots. <laughs> for all those slots he's got. Uh, I'll show off the look... No. If I find my nightmare, hmm. 
I find my nightmare. If I find my nightmare. All right, we're put on now. And we'll put on, I need to just remember to put on the organic before the boss fight. All right, we're going to try and find it here. Hopefully it shows up right now so I don't waste any more time. Here we go. <laughs> there it is. There it freaking is. It's freaking Malboro. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. You're getting it. You're getting it. You're getting it. I'm not letting you do what you do. It's weak against water, by the way. So you can use Aqualong against it if you wanted to. But no, he's not living. He is not living. He is not living. I hate him. I hate Malbro. Get Dolphin Blow. Get out of my face. Oh, actually, we need to fight them. I just... <laughs> I just, because they have an enemy skill. And that is why these are called M tentacles, by the way. They're Malboro tentacles. Uh, we got them earlier in the game. But, um, actually, we need to fight them because the enemy skill, which makes them a nightmare for every player, not just me, they have the bad breath ability. And bad breath is literally the game changer of the game. It causes like five different negative status effects at the same time which is why we i put ribbon on red 13 it causes frog it causes small it causes sleep it causes poison it causes darkness which is blinding like it's absolutely ridiculous what it does so i actually need to find him one more time i just wanted to teach him a lesson <laughs> i just wanted to teach him a lesson so i'm just gonna skip until i find him again because we actually have Aqualung, and then I can take advantage of Aqualung against them. If I don't keep wasting magic using beta, do I even have enough magic to do Aqualung? I don't think I do. I may have just screwed myself. And, oh, we're going to do one more fight, definitely, to get that level up. Actually, I can just run ahead and get the full heal I was speaking about. If not, and come back. 34. Yep, we don't have enough. I'm just going to run ahead, get the full heal I was talking about, come back, and fight Malboro. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like the way you shake it. We're outside again? Oh. We have one more section of this? Holy crap. I actually did. I thought we already did all our climbing. We have one more climb to do. Okay. Okay. So... I didn't mean to use Cure 2 there, god dang it. Whatever. We had the full heal up here, and we can find Malboro out here in this area. If not, I'm just going to climb back down, if I can. Do do. But yeah, that's Malboro. That is, that is my biggest fear ever in any video game. It is a giant mouth. I hate it. Is this Malboro? It is? Camera angle? Yep. Okay, here's Malboro. We don't have Aqualung, which is very bad. Okay. You did zero damage. Let's get an attack on. Don't insta-kill him. Okay. We needed to use bad breath. Which you probably would never hear anyone else say ever again. Zero damage. Okay. How much health does Malboro have? 34. Oh, 44. Okay, I thought I was getting his water. Cool. Steal something. Can I steal things from them? I can steal. You can steal M tentacles, I believe. Yep. Cool. That's actually really good to get. Now, bro, can you do bad breath, please? Don't do that to Tifa. God dang it. Can you do bad breath, please? I, I'm pretty sure it hits everyone. I'm pretty sure. Now, bro, for the love of Christ. <laughs> please. Use bad breath. Wow. They're, usually, they, that's the first thing they do. Like, in my casual runs of this game, which is why I hate them also, they literally just do bad breath immediately. Oh wait, I can, what am I doing? I can, I can manipulate them. Totally forgot about manipulation. Her claw looks amazing. Couldn't manipulate. All right, I'm just going to keep trying to manipulate because he is not cooperating. So funny, he can't do damage to us right now. Manipulate. Come on, please work. Okay. <laughs> All right. You're being an asshole right now, Malbro. I hate you. I hate your guts, Malbro. You're an asshole. Attacking you. You like that? You like that damage? Malbro, work with me here. Work with me here. You're building up Tifa's limit break. I appreciate it. I don't think I can manipulate this guy. I literally don't think he can be manipulated. He's just not doing it, though. He's literally just not doing it. Oh my goodness gracious, we'll be here for a minute.
Bad breath. Okay, here it is. This is bad breath. Okay, Tifa learned it. All right, so now we just need to kill his asshole. Is he gonna do it again? No, he won't. Hopefully this kills him. Fire two. Oh, that won't kill him. Oh, damn it. Okay, we should be fine because Red 13 has ribbon. Otherwise, can you see? We're small, we're frog, we're sleep, we're poisoned. Bad Breath does literally five or four different status effects at the same exact time to all targets. Thankfully, Tifa learned it. And that doesn't mean Tifa has bad breath, all right? No! No! <laughs> no. All right, so we learned that. We need to warm up. We need to warm up right now. All right, let's go. That took way too long. Usually, Malbros are the biggest trolls in Final Fantasy. They will just spam it. Oh, man. If you don't have a ribbon, you're screwed, as you see. Because your every party member is asleep. Poison, frogged, like, and I believe you're silent. Like, you may be silenced even. Like, it's it's just rough. Even in frog, your magic damage is taken down too, so it doesn't really matter. Like, it's insane. Bad breath is insane. I just got super lucky. They, I killed the one mob bro who was probably going to troll me with Tifa's limit break. So, maybe that's what happened. But now we're heading to the final area. So we have a, oh another save point and this little secret right here. This is a healing spring. I don't know what it could be. Like, this is in the middle of an ice cavern. So it's like, is it frozen water? Like, it's just really odd. I don't know what it is. If it's like Mako water or something. Or, cause, or is it warm? Is it like a random little hot spring because it's a fantasy game? That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. But we have a safe point right here, which is awesome because it's just before the boss. We literally got everything I wanted. I showed off everything I wanted to do. My nips have fallen off. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. Things are looking good. All right, we have Cloud with his limit break. Tifa almost has hers again. You've seen Dolphin Blow twice. Did you enjoy it? I love Dolphin Blow. And yeah. All right, we're inside, guys. Cliffs, let's go. Let's go. All right. Ugh. I don't know. What the? Oh! Oh, it's one of Sephiroth's um, minions. He looks like he just died to something. Huh. I like how Red 13 was the first to notice. You saw him? His animation shows that he's the first to notice where it's coming from because of his animal instincts. Future past Danny here. So, I screwed up big time in the boss fight because I totally just forgot to set things up. So, I had to do it over again. So, now we're doing this again. So, um, I forgot to put on organics again. Also, I realized something about the guy disarmlet. My dumbass didn't realize that it was giving Tifa no growth this entire time. I, I totally just side, I just didn't even notice that. So she was gaining nothing this, like, these past few episodes, which really ticks me off. <laughs> but we gave her the fire armlet because she really needs the fire armlet for this fight, as you will see. And we keep her the power wrist and we gave him the fire ring. And this also drains cold attacks. So, Nanaki is pretty much immune to half of the boss's attacks, which you will see why. And Cloud is still the same. Basically, and I only got rid of the morph material, which I already showed off, and we will never need to really see again. So, other than that, I'll see you in the fight. This boss is Shizo. So, he is a dragon with two separate heads, and both heads have different qualities to them, alright? One of the heads is fire-based while the other is ice-based. And of course, each of those sides is invulnerable to that um, element. So we have to watch out for that. So we kind of just want to focus on one side of the head right now. We're going to take out the fire side first. So we can't really use fire two yet. Ooh, there's a death blow. That's why I like to see. But uh, with our setup, we should be okay. Comet is super good against him. We also need to remember to use Alexander. We need to show up Alexander. Alexander is amazing. Is freaking amazing. So now Tifa with the fire armor is draining the fire attack side at least. So with, oh my goodness gracious, that damage. I'll just show you what I mean by sensing Shizzo's right head. Boom, boom. All right, we'll use Alexander when it becomes our turn. They're doing something. Okay, this is, they also have the ability to cause Quake 3. Uh, which is one the one thing we're kind of afraid of 
because it can actually hurt us compared to everything else. Other than that though, it is Shizo is invulnerable to gravity. Oh boy. That no, he should be fine. Yeah, he should be fine. There's Alexander. Alexander with the Holy Judgment attack, just like how he looks in Final Fantasy IX. He is a robotic fortress created by the other summons, the other espers, which is just absolutely awesome. Tifa is about to attack, so we're going to attack with them and go. Bop. Bop. Okay, we got, we got the Dolphin Blow, yeah. I was trying to go for Yaz there, as you can tell. But we're going to skip a few. We're going to Meteor Drive the Giant Dragon. <laughs> And then Dolphin Blow! Dolphin Blow does 3,000 damage! Oh my goodness! 3,000 damage. Oh, this is its, its special attack. Okay, so it uses that special attack every time it a side of it dies. So when we kill this other head, before it dies fully, it will use that attack and do massive damage, which is why we're going to use Big Guard right now. Sled Fang. It's fine. Get my Lemon Break back up, boy. Get my Lemon Break back up. I'll try and get all yes. Now, all yes is super hard, super difficult to get, especially when you don't play this game on a regular basis, like I do. I uh, play it on, on and off. Do, 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 do. It's been a while since I last played this. Right, let's go. 2,000 damage. That's really good. Big guard, so we can be, so we can survive its final attack, basically. All right, attack. Let's get a, a heal on Tifa. We also now have haste. Let's get, try and get another death blow. We can use Aqua Lung. Oh no, it's the Ice Side. Sorry, we can use Beta. Sorry. We can definitely use Beta. Let's see Bolt 3. Ah, okay. Let's see Bolt 3. Damn. Bolt 3. Wait, this is the Ice Side? Yeah, this is the Ice Side. We can use Fire 2. Take advantage of that. We can use Beta. Good old Beta. Never let us down before. We want to kind of finish it off while we still have this barrier because that magic attack where it does like all the elements is a little ridiculous. It starts attacking a lot more. Even though it loses, lost one of its heads, it's attacking Tifa, which isn't good. Okay, there's that. Beta. Oh boy, this is, this is close. This is freaking close. Oh, is that it? Is that it? That's it. All right, that's the boss fight. Will Tifa live? Oh, she lived. All right, there's the boss fight. That is Shizo. Ooh, the twin-headed dragon of elements. Woo! All right, we did the fight. Tifa barely survived. And we leveled up. Ice, too! Awesome! And it got a Dragon Fang, which I'll remind myself what that is. Alrighty. Got our fighting stances. All right, so let's just heal up Tifa. I'm not proceeding to the next area yet because it, it starts the whole next amazing arc. Next episode is going to be mind-blowing for people who have never seen this game before. It's still mind-blowing to people like me who have played it plenty of times. <laughs> it is one of the greatest storytelling parts ever. We saw Dolphin Blow three times and we got yeah with Dolphin Blow. That's all I really wanted in that fight. That's 3,000 damage. Can you imagine? God... The most powerful limit break. Uh, Dragon Fang. Let's figure that nonsense out before we go back and save and heal and get ready for the next. The reunion with Sephiroth. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. What is it? Dragon Fang? It might do a. Hmm. Also, I forgot to mention we were showing off the enhanced blade before, so I hope you got a good look at it previously in the episode. Did I miss it? I missed it. I missed it. It's an item. It's a usable item. So, it should be up here. I don't know why. Kind of lost track. There it is. Lightning damage. Oh, okay. Lightning damage. Interesting. Interesting. Wouldn't expect that from a dragon. But anyways, I'm going to go back and get a heal on. I'm going to go back into these green caverns. Next time, we will be at the top of the Gaia Cliffs. We have conquered the map. Oh my god. Um, Hi. I think I just shit my pants. Yep, there it is. Ow! Ow! I'm almost dead. What happened? What? Is this the actual boss fight? It healed you. <laughs> it healed you. Hold on. We have the actual boss fight of the area. 
It's, this is Shizzo's brother, Pizzo. <laughs> um, great, cool, big guard. Because this guy's powerful as shit. He's about to freaking kill Red 13 for no reason. All right, the episode is not over. <laughs> we have the actual boss fight. Why is this here? No clue. I didn't know this was an enemy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. You like that? You like that? Oh, I should probably not have used trying. I bet it's it's a dragon. It's immune to... It has the attack. This is literally Shizo's brother. You gotta be kidding me. I was just making a joke. <laughs> I was literally just making a joke. It's probably gonna absorb this. No, it's not. Okay, it absorbs ice or fire. So we're just not gonna do that. Just keep attacking it. Just keep attacking it. I think I, we have to use big guard on this fight. That's insane. I'm about to bring out Alexander. What did it just use? What did it just use? Was that arrow? I, I wasn't paying attention. I'm using Alexander because F this guy. Freaking Pizzo, dude. I hate Pizzo. I didn't know Pizzo was a thing. I wasn't bothering Pizzo. Oh, you killed my brothers? That's his, those were his twin brothers. You know, they were born of deformity. Um, two heads on one. It happens. It actually happens. It's a thing. Or especially in the animal kingdom. Dragon kingdom. I don't know. Hello. My name's Alexander. Get blown to shit. Thank you. Thank you for not destroying my episode. Thank you. I like how Cloud gets magic because I gave him MP absorb. No experience. Dragon armlet. What? <laughs> I think we already had dragon armlet. Did we? Or is that brand new? No, yeah. Cloud's brand new. But dragon armlet's amazing. I don't know if I'm going too far. That was actually... Dragon armlet sucks. What the freak? <laughs> Dragon Armor sucks! Alright, I wasn't set up at all. Anyways, we're gonna get this heal on. I'm, I'll, I'll do a normal end of the episode now. Uh, get the heal. Touch it. Touch it. Yes. It's Shizzo's pee, by the way. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Shizzo's dead. Shizzo and Pizzo are dead. Thanks for watching, everybody. Next episode is the reunion. Get ready.